Hello folks, Killface Baylor here. Today we're going to be doing some Void Shard openings in Raid Shadow Legends. Um, I've been playing this for a little while now. It seemed like a fun little introverted thing to do uh, during the pandemic. It's just one of those things I can pop on and do every now and then in the off time. Anyway, we, as you can see, we have a uh, double chance for epic and legendary voids. We also have a targeted summoning event for this particular legendary. Good ally protector here, right? We have a passive that uh, reduces damage from criticals, so most attacks in the arena are critical. Here's a ally protection and a very good one that will place a strengthen on this champion at the same time. Um... So, not a bad A1, not an amazing one, but uh, HP-based, so that's uh, good. HP or defense-based champions being just easy to keep alive in general. Uh, very good base stats as well. So, anyway, I don't think it's worth opening during 10 times necessarily, but a 10 times on a double, the doubles are the best place. I'm going to open, I have 78 of them, I'm going to open the first eight one at a time. So, let's see what we get here. Oh, brilliant. There we go. Nice, an epic. Uburu, and an epic that I don't have. Okay. So that is going to be a big deal for the Hydra. So that's awesome. Cool. Let's do another. And I still need to fill up my Faction Guardians as well um, for Epics. And I don't have any in the... I don't have any dupe legendaries. I have, I have a bazillion Centurions. He's going to be a chicken at this point, I think. It's only a 16% chance of um, Epics and a 1% of Legendaries. So we have an okay chance of Legendaries and of getting a Legendary, potentially. Uh, but it's certainly not a guarantee. Um, do I have... Yes, I do. I have the gems to do that. Let's... Oh, excellent. Cold hearts. I have three of them built, but still, can always use more cold hearts. Okay, no one cares about Vanguard. There we go. And... There are those eight. I'm going to try summoning another ten here, and I think um, I can go. Yes, I can. I can go on doing that. All right. I may save some of these for tomorrow, where there's a different ten times seer. That's a third seer for me, I think, but which would be unfortunate. That's a second warcaster, so that's good. And Harrier, excellent. Ash would be proud. Um, so we're going to try another 10 here. I need to make more space for champions anyway. Let's see what we have. Anything amazing? Well, not really. Not yet, anyway. A lot of rares there. That is a bummer. Oh yes, during a uh, summoning event as well, so that uh, I'm getting extra um, kind of points for that. So there'll be some extra rewards there. Godseeker, Godseeker Aniri, I think that may be a third, which uh, will help towards dupes, but I, I'm not sure. Um, Hartkin Greatblade and Skimfus, I don't have either one of them. Um, So we'll see. Oh, good heavens. Yeah, so we'll we'll see. Um, but perhaps, let's see if we can just go right on doing this. Lego would be amazing. The Broadmoor is fantastic because that's a fourth for me. <gasps> yes! What do we have here? And I think Scathrix is also a... Excellent, excellent, excellent. I got the ten times. That's going to be fantastic for the arena. Um, 
example. So that's a good uh, HP uh, Aura. So that was amazing. I cannot increase capacity. All right, awesome. Well, I will let you go for today, and we will do 30 more tomorrow. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, uh, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe for more content. Hopefully I'll go back to posting quite regularly, probably mostly raid content, as this is what I've been doing uh, mostly recently. So, anyway, I uh, hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.